Hi there, my name's Sarah, and I thought I'd do a quick video today to answer a question. Loki Kreewal, and I hope I pronounced that right, asks, Hi Sarah, love your videos. Is it possible to do an animated light sweep effect in Clip Studio Paint? Absolutely. First off, this is my setup. Whatever you want to shimmer needs to be on its own separate layer. This can be text, a logo, or any other image. Click here to create a new raster layer above it. I'll name this layer Shimmer. Go to the Airbrush tool. You can use the soft brush if you want, but I like the grittiness of the noise brush, so I'll choose that. The brush size will depend on the size of your canvas, but in my case, 800 works well. Choose white as the color, then draw a stripe on your new layer across the image. Set this as a clipping layer by clicking Clip to Layer below. Clipping layers only show where there are visible pixels on the layer just below it. Now, let's animate it. If you don't see the Timeline panel, go to Window and choose Timeline. Click the New Timeline button. Let's make this a 24-frame animation set to 24 frames per second. Click OK. Make sure you're still on the Shimmer layer, and click Enable Keyframes on this layer. Click this drop-down and select Create Keyframe Linear Interpolation. Go to the Operation tool, and be sure the Object Subtool is selected. See the blue border that appeared around the layer? Be sure you're hovering your mouse close to it so it turns into this icon Otherwise, you might move the wrong layer. Click and drag the shimmer to the left, so it's just out of view. Moving the layer causes a new keyframe to appear on the timeline. Move the red playhead to frame 12. Click and drag your shimmer all the way to the right, causing another keyframe to appear. Press play to see the result. It's as simple as that but here's a couple of additional tips. Drag the second keyframe to the left to make a faster sweep, or to the right to make it slower. If you have a more complex image, you can clip your light shimmer layer to an entire folder instead of just a single layer. You can also use a colored shimmer with different blending modes to get different effects. And finally, don't forget to check out my other videos to learn more about animation, layer masking, and lots more. That's it for this one, but real quick before I go, thank you so much for 3,000 subs, that's amazing. If you enjoy my videos, consider dropping a buck or two over on Patreon. You get early access to new tutorials, extra treats, and you help to support my work. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons, with a Nova Tier shout out to Joe C. Phipps. I'll see you all next time. Bye!